So this video is my return to the Yorkshire Three Peaks with Scarlett, my 14 year old daughter, while simultaneously trying to complete it wearing a 45 pound backpack. This is gonna be one really, really hard challenge. This video is me returning to the Yorkshire Three Peaks for a third time, but this time I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to attempt to complete it with my 14 year old daughter, Scarlett. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, I thought there's something wrong. You're being dramatic. Who has never done anything like this before, and I'm gonna to attempt to complete it with a 45 pound Bergen on my back. Especially carrying a 45 pound, but have I mentioned this is 45 pounds? Without dying, and hopefully, without losing the use of both my shoulders. All of this is part of my fan dance training plan. This is my Yorkshire Three Peaks with my daughter, and a really, really heavy backpack video. I record it. Let's go. I don't know why I sound so knackered here. We've just started. We have just been dropped off by Tracy and we've walked about 200 meters up to the start of the Yorkshire Three Peaks Trail. But for some reason, I sound like I've just finished the challenge. Uh, where's the crossing? Over there. Where? Is it? How'd you get over there? You've moved the crossing. Okay, Scarlett and I are currently stood in I can't do it one-handed. Will you? Oh. That's it. Go. Oh, you took myself out of the gate. Okay, we are attempting the Yorkshire Three Peaks, Woo. but this time I have my big old Bergen. So in the bag, I have everything I need for emergency situations, literally everything. So if something happens, something goes wrong, I can survive overnight, no problem. Um, I'm not gonna need to because unlike doing something like this in, you know, somewhere like America or Australia, or uh, we are not far from civilization at any, any one time really. So if something does go wrong. So, but anyway, the point is the bag is full of gear mean I'm able to survive on my own. Completely self-sufficient, all our food, uh, first aid, change of clothes if we need it. So I have zero intentions of sleeping overnight here. The whole point of attempting this, carrying so much weight, is the same reason it's part of the fan dance. Replicating or emulating, probably is more relevant, military expectations of carrying everything you need for survival purposes, being completely self-sufficient. 85% of what I'm carrying will not leave my bag for the whole challenge. It's just nice to know that if I can't get help, and let's face it, I'm in the UK, probably only a couple of hours at most from help, then I have everything I need to stay warm, stay hydrated, and stay alive in my big old backpack. And that gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling, mainly on my shoulders. But the difference is, other than my bag, I'm here today with, dun dun dun. I'm here today with, dun dun dun. Hey. I'm here today with, dun dun dun. <laughs> Give me a wave. <laughs> I'm here today with my youngest, who has a very sheltered existence and wants to experience the full, we're going the wrong way. Really quickly, I just want to say before I forget, I'm not going to forget because it's because there's a constant reminder on my back, 45 pounds of weight in my bag at the moment. Now that will go down slightly as we consume water, which we have in our reservoirs. Scarlett has her own reservoir. Yeah. And I have my own reservoir. Ingleborough is the first peak, then Wernside, and then we're gonna take on Penny Ghent. That's the challenge for today. Let's do this. So really quickly, I'm gonna give you a crash course on the Yorkshire Three Peaks and my history with it in under one minute, as I'm in love with the Yorkshire Three Peaks, the Yorkshire ones, and I could talk about them for hours. They're not to be confused with the national ones, which are a different beast altogether. These ones are three big old climbs on a route in the middle of the Yorkshire Dales in the UK. 
Now there is an official route that starts in Halton in Ribblesdale and goes counterclockwise around a preordained route along footpaths, trails, and some bits that can be quite hairy. But the piece to the resistance are the three whacking great big peaks that break up the landscape and turn this enjoyable hike into a leg burning ordeal if you get it wrong. This route is not for the faint hearted and very much not for the unplanned. The first time I attempted it was back in 2019. I've talked about this quite a lot in my previous videos, but in a nutshell, I weighed a lot, a lot, a lot more than I do now, and I thought I knew what I was doing. In reality, I had absolutely no idea. I attempted it with two other equally unprepared wannabes, and we attempted it in the depths of winter, so all this combined with the horrific weather conditions we faced meant that we quit halfway round, and it took us over 10 hours to reach that point of quitting. We weren't really anywhere near completing this. Is this the annual Ramblers Association? Oh my God. This defeat stuck with me for another four years, the defeat of the Yorkshire Three Peaks. The only time I started something and couldn't finish it. So last year I returned stronger, fitter, and most importantly, a lot lighter, and I absolutely smashed this route in eight hours and 14 minutes. I annihilated it. Look at the scenery. And it was this challenge that I realized that I had reached a level in my fitness that meant I was able to accomplish anything I wanted to given enough time, energy, and attention. This was a turning point and one of the reasons I absolutely love the Yorkshire Three Peaks and its outstanding natural beauty. The reason why I love it is because it's a really hard challenge that was very much worth overcoming. This is the background that we're walking along. Look at that. We're just over a mile into this 24 mile epic. This is my third time of attempting it. First time I failed miserably. I'm not gonna go into that now. It's one of my videos on my channel. Second time I smashed it, did it in uh, you know, over there. Eight hours and 14 minutes, I think it was. Just over eight hours. You ran it. Yeah, ran it. And then today, is a very different challenge. And I'm with my daughter, Scarlett, who, as part of a Duke of Edinburgh. No, 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 no. This is a part of the... No, I know it's not part of it. But I'm just, you know, dramatic, you, dramatic for the video, This no? is a part of you making me do it. Okay, apparently, there's nothing to do with a Duke of Edinburgh uh, practice, which is what I was about to say. This is me making her do it against her will. Yeah. which doesn't make for as good intro to a video as what I was going to say, but we'll go with what she says. Three peaks. First one we're going to tackle is Ingleborough. How I'm going to do it. Where are you going? Behind you. How I'm going to do it carrying this 45 pounds on my back. Um, I don't know. I just hope that as we drink water and the bag gets lighter, that... Uh, I don't, I'm talking myself into how I'm gonna tackle climbing down. Literally, it's a scramble down. So this time in this video, I'm returning as part of my fan dance training to the Yorkshire Three Peaks. The fan dance is a SAS style selection challenge organized by ex-military for civilians like me to attempt. It's a 24K run shuffle route march over Penny Fan in the Brecon Beacons, carrying a fully loaded Bergen. Penny Fan is 886 meters high and it takes 24K to complete it. The combined height of the Yorkshire Three Peaks is 2,153 metres. All of this across 39 kilometres. So it's absolutely huge. Podcast. Huh? We're not on a podcast. We're not on a podcast. A forced adventure. A forced adventure. Yay, welcome to today's forced adventure. Yay! Yay! Scarlett has just signed up for her Duke of Edinburgh award at school and we discussed this as being a good challenge to attempt together plus it be brownie points for her Duke of Edinburgh checklist she needs to complete albeit the Yorkshire Three Peaks are a little above the expectations of the DOE criteria we both agreed it would be fun to do together however because she is a teenager she can't say this and needs to highlight that I have forced her into exercise against her will. It's become a theme. Trust me when I say she is 14. If she didn't want to do this, she wouldn't be doing it. So we've just eaten our bagels. 
aren't we, Scarly? Yes. <laughs> this is our breakfast number two. It's Carb Central. We're, I can see Ingleborough in the distance now. So we're going to start climbing shortly. Which one? The one at the back. That one? No, that's the one at the front. That one? No, that one over there? Yeah, yeah. That one. That one over there. See it? Yep. As much as this route is a very challenging one, I know Scarlett is more than capable. And with me making sure she stays hydrated and eats enough food to keep her energy levels up, she will be absolutely fine. I have also organised my Mrs. Tracy and my more challenge shy 16 year old daughter, who refused point blank to attempt this challenge with us, to come with us but stay local and enjoy the local cafes and sunshine, just in case Scarlett wants to call it at any point and she can just be picked up by them. I feel I need to explain that as it was up to her. I know from experience that it's important you feel in control when it comes to your own personal challenges and there is nothing worse than someone forcing you on when you feel you can't. So again for the record if at any point Scarlett feels this challenge is too much for her then her mum and her sister are only an hour away in a car to collect her. That's what we're about to do now. I'm gonna eat this. Look at that view. Gradient is starting to get steeper and steeper. Scarlet has no idea what's about to hit her. She's doing well though. She keeps, she's keep putting one foot in front of the other. That's all you can do. Just one foot in front of the other. If I can complete this enormous Yorkshire Three Peaks challenge with a 45 pound Bergen, then it sets me up really nicely for the fan dance this summer. The advised completion target time on the official Y3P website says under 12 hours. I've already smashed this route in just over eight hours, so I'm not going for a time today, only that we have to drive a four and a half hour drive home after, so I'd like to complete it in a reasonable time, but that would be 100% dependent on Scarlett and her pace. As much as I won't allow us to doodle, I won't be pushing her to breaking point, and we have planned in breaks for food and to take on more water, plus if she starts to tire, then we will need to factor that in too. Okay, sit rep. We are approaching the steepest bit of the climb up to Ingleborough. So this, I'll show you, is Ingleborough. We've got to go whoop up there. How do you feel? Tired. She hasn't mentioned once that she's tired. This is about practicing elevation with this. This isn't about time necessarily although we do want to finish it at reasonable time. It's the best part. This is Scarlett's first real test now. This little mini scramble. Mini? This little baby one. Baby? It's my, if I'm honest with you, I'm saying Scarlett, it's my first real test with this bag. Just take your time. The sheep are looking at us. The sheep are looking at us? Yeah. <sighs> this bag throws you right off balance. Which is bad enough when you're on level ground or even a slight incline. But when you're climbing knees over feet, sort of climbing, if you know what I mean, it puts you off balance. Oh, look at that view. Amazing. Come on, don't stop though. I didn't, I didn't mean you, I mean camera. Keep going. You just say look at the view. <laughs> I didn't mean you, madam. We're doing really well. Golly gosh. Do you know what the crazy thing is? When I first time, first time I did this, right, have a sit down. First time I did this, I weighed more than I do now carrying this 45 pound back, backpack. Can you believe that? Yeah, but it was like, oh. the whole of it wasn't just your back trying to pull you. Correct, back. yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's a really good way of putting it. Is this it? No, that's, that was just a scramble to get to the bottom of the peak. Oh. We've now got to climb the peak. Oh my gosh. She noticed, because that scramble had a bit of a drop off on one side. Not a major one, but just enough to make me feel 
funny. I'm really not very good with heights. I hate heights. Um, I get all unsteady on my feet. And then when you add a 45 pound burger, it makes you off balance, pulls you back. Yeah, I was a bit nervous. And Scarlett sensed it. What did you say to me? You've got this. You've got this. That made me feel better. Are you okay though? Hey? Are you okay? I'm okay. Yeah. Thanks for asking. I'm not. You're not okay? <laughs> this is the top of the peak up here. So we just need to get over this ridge. Lots of sheep. How do you farm these sheep? I was a hazard a guess that the farmer would come round. We're above the clouds. That's why they're sprayed. Yeah. Yeah, we're above the clouds. Amazing feeling, isn't it? Wait until you get to the top. You okay? Yeah. Oh, this is harder than it looks. That's Wernside over there. You see it? Yeah. And then there's the aqueduct. That's where we're meeting Mum. Do you like the view? Yeah. Let's get up to the top and see it from the top. Oh. Just stay away from the edge. Hi guys. Hi. Trying to work out the best way to go. That way. I know, but I don't like the edge. You go whatever way you feel, you feel more comfortable. I just, I just don't like this. Hate it. Hate it. Whoa. Come on. You have to come down. You have to come down. down. You have to come back down this way. We have to get to the peak and get a picture. Hey. Where do you go from here? I'll show you. Morning. I oh, know, lovely day. Lovely day, is I need a tippy tumble off the side of a mountain. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's not the backpack, it's not exhaustion, it's absolute out and out fear of heights that is my downfall. And I do not know why I do these, uh, these challenges. This, people say in the comments, oh, you're going to burn out or you're going to injure yourself. No. Nope. I'm going to die of a heart attack from fear of height. We're here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. 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 I did do it. Yeah, I got you. Okay. okay. Right. We're at the top of the first peak. It's taken us ages to get here. It's very windy, very windy. But this is the top, baby. I'm going to jump down now. I know. You're going to jump down and take a picture of me, aren't you? Yeah, take that as well. Woo. Don't fall. I know. I've chosen to take on the Yorkshire Three Peaks in clockwise order or opposite to the advised route direction. The course is a big loop. No matter where you start, you always end up back where you started, no assuming you complete it. All right, everything's got to be done easy and slowly. I've chosen to complete it in clockwise order as I have a very irrational fear of heights and because I get dizzy at height and I am carrying a 45 pound backpack that already hinders my movement and throws me off balance. Doing this in this direction means I'm going down instead of up the steepest parts of the scrambles of Ingleborough and Penny Ghent. You will see what I mean when we get there later in the video. Let's go. <laughs> Stop messing about. You got to do this. Look, come here. You got, you got to spin. Ready? Put your arm out. Yeah. It's too far. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. We've got to go down here, straight down into this valley. Look, and you see that footpath? You can see the line. There's a line in the earth. Oh yeah. Yeah. We've got to walk all the way up there. That's Wernside there. As much as I want a challenge, I want to balance that off against, excuse the pun, the terrifying potential drops that are on this route and how much I hate these parts. So I've decided to go down these sections instead of climb them with the backpack. I hope this makes sense and it doesn't make me sound like a complete wuss. I mean, look, in reality, loads of people start it in loads of different places. Halton and Ribblesdale is just the official start point on the website. It doesn't mean that's where you have to start it. You're completing three bloody big peaks. So you start it in whatever order you want to do it. Beautiful view. This is probably the best view of all the peaks. This is my favourite. Ingleborough is my favourite peak because it's the easiest one to complete. <laughs> and it's also got the best view. So I've had to take my bag off because this is just too steep. It doesn't really do it justice on camera. We're about to go down another really steep bit here. So I'm going to keep the bag off and just 
hold it. Where you right, put it? Like this, carry it. You can put it in your bag. Yeah. Name of the game when it's this steep and I'm this nervy about heights. Name of the game is take it easy. I've got this. We got this. From up there, all the way down. And we still got all of this to go. Yay! 100% completion is the target, not an adrenaline rush or injury. And we're definitely, definitely not going for a time here because if we were going for a time, we're definitely risking injury. Hey, we're at the bottom of Ingleborough. That was a killer, absolute killer. I had to take the bag off and carry it down like a holdall at the airport because that, I don't know if you can see these guys climbing it, but one little trip, one tippy tumble with that. Yeah, yeah, you are. Okay, we're walking through the town. It's in between Ingleborough and Wernside. We're about to start the climb up to Wernside. How do you feel, Scarly? Um, my feet hurt. <laughs> Your feet hurt? Yeah. Too much walking. Too much walking. 12k. So, we're at 12k? Yeah. Ah, we've just completed 12k and about 700 metres of climbing and descent. Oh, this is the footpath now up to Wernside. Right, we're going to climb up now, okay? We've got a bit of a, probably about a mile until the start of the climb. It's a properly warm day today. Scarlett's put shorts on. She's gone into sport mode. This is Wernside, here. That's Wernside, so footpath starts here and it winds up. I'll show you in a sec. You want the last one? Sources. I just want to quickly say thank you for choosing to watch this video. I appreciate the support you guys give me. I'm about to cross the 4,000 subscriber threshold and I just want to take this opportunity to thank those of you who have subscribed. If you're one of the 45% who hasn't, please consider doing so if you see value in the videos I make. Please note that I also have a Patreon page where I upload early access videos and exclusive content. Please check it out, the link is in the description. Okay, good. So we're on the footpath now and this goes all the way do, 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 up to there. Probably can't see it. That's a long way off. This GoPro. You can see someone up there. Yeah. Yeah, you can see right at the top. The GoPro, because of its camera lens type, doesn't really do justice to how steep this is. But it's not good when you want to show someone on screen how steep this is and how hard this climb is about to become. You've got to come try it for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a properly hard challenge. You've got to think, if a 14 year old child who doesn't do anything can do it, so can you. Who's that child? Me. Oh, that's, that child, what do you mean you don't do anything? You do loads of sport. I'm it's so very, sweaty. It's very warm. It's very warm. I'm very glad I took my trousers off. I'm not going to lie. This bag is proper heavy, um, and I don't like heights. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but... I've heard it enough. We're going, we're moving. You wanna go in front? Go on in. We've got to get up there. It's good to have a different perspective. Um. We're at the top. Oh, it's not doing it. Oh. That sticks. That sticks make wind noise. <laughs> They're like wind chimes. <laughs> We've been wondering what that noise has been for the last <laughs> few hours. And then we've realised it's her sticks. Uh, like a musical instrument. Right, we're at the peak. We've made it and it's really busy. Oh, here we go. Oh, sideways. Let's get a selfie. Ready? That's it. 
we've got a 10 mile hike and then last peak to climb. How do you feel? I feel better now, but earlier I felt horrible. Why did you feel horrible? Well, one, because I wasn't really expecting what I was. Yeah. Like, I wasn't ready for it. And then I wasn't, like, warmed up enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. my legs have gotten used to what I'm doing. Yeah. The windpipes are back. The windpipes. <laughs> We've got to go down there, all the way round, to that aqueduct that's over there. And we've come from over there. And then we've got to head over to Penny Ghent. Which one's Which that? is over there somewhere. No, sorry, there. See Penny Ghent in the, the biggest one in the distance, on the horizon. They all look the same. There's, there, that's Penny Ghent The there. one with the drop? Yeah. <laughs> That's fun, with that. You think he's gone up the peak? That's the, that's the way to do the Yorkshire Three Peaks. That looks a lot, a lot easier. <laughs> Let's keep going. I missed it. Right, what time is it? Um, 1.49. 1.49. Okay, so it's 10 to 2. Um, yeah, first two peaks have taken a lot longer than they did the last time I did this. We well, have ran, and yeah. he didn't have a massive heavy bag. That's true, that is true. <laughs> yeah. And um, we have just reached the dun 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 viaduct. Viaduct. Not aqueduct. Not aqueduct. How are we feeling? Um, very hot. Very hot. Yeah. Yeah, this is tough going. It's properly warm today. And when you're down out of the wind, it's obviously very windy at the top. It's nice at the top. That's what makes me want to get up it. Yeah. I think it would I would have been um okay if it wasn't this hot yeah i think if it was a little bit more windy but we're going to stop now um, and have some lunch we're going to stop and eat some pasta tracy's meeting us and she's got some food for us so we're going to eat that and refill our water our bladders and then crack on i'm going to say now right, i'm very trying very hard to be positive but my shoulders are absolutely rocking and rolling this bag is very very heavy and to have so far we're at probably about 20k. We've done Ingleborough and Wernside done. We're back down in the valley enjoying the aqueduct. Not aqueduct, viaduct train. is a train. So at this point on the trowel, we were only halfway. 20k of walking and just under 1,500 meters of climbing. The bag was really starting to take its toll on me. From a training perspective, I was already significantly higher than the fan dance challenge climbing that is, climbing height, and not far off the actual total distance too. I knew Scarlett would be tempted to stop here as we were having lunch when she sees her mum and her sister. I was interested to see if she would be tempted enough to call it as we were both really starting to feel it now. So sit rep, we have finished our lunch, we've had our pasta. How are we feeling? Scarlett's um Scarlet's not feeling great. We've had, because we've had lunch, it means we've stopped. So she's kind of seized up a bit, but she's okay. She's still going, we're still going. We've got the long drag now. There's um, a section between Wernside and Penny Ghent. What is it? Seven or eight mile walk, which is relatively flat, but it's just long and arduous. And in this sun, there's no shade. This was the point where the wheels were starting to fall off. Scarlett was struggling with the weather and the heat. Unlike me, with my now sunburned arms, she was smothered in sun cream. She was very, very well hydrated. But the overall distance walked and climbed in this temperature was starting to take its toll. However, she was adamant, adamant she was powering through. I was now really fighting the weight of this bag. The only saving grace was that as we drank the seven litres of water I was carrying for the both of us, the weight was starting to slowly, starting to slowly reduce. At this point, I was genuinely expecting to have to call this route march that had now turned into a slow shuffle and in places, we were sitting down. Because Tracy met us for lunch, I gave her the option of calling it. I was happy to, you know, I've completed this. Um, I'm doing this as a practice for the fan dance. She's coming along for the ride because she's uh, a chip off the old block and wants to participate in some of the things I'm doing. And I gave her the option when we stopped for lunch because Tracy was there with the car. She had the option to jump in the car, but she didn't want to take it. So she is definitely 
definitely my daughter because as much as she is enduring some blisters and some leg ache and she is not used to walking and climbing this much she had all the reasons in the world to quit and she hasn't quit have you she's also not talking apparently as well <laughs> that level of endurance has meant that some things need to give and one of them is conversation so we are walking this next six seven six or seven miles i think probably now we've done a couple i think we're walking it in complete silence apparently are we we're yeah. walking it are we walking it in silence yeah yeah okay all right we're doing well we're doing really well as i said to her then there would be no shame in stopping now she had already conquered two huge peaks and hiked 25k over really tough terrain, but she was adamant she was continuing. She is definitely a chip off the old block. It's not a fast pace, it's a consistent pace. How do you feel? Let me ask you a question. I know your feet hurt. Let me ask you a question. So having now, having now completed two of the three peaks, is this easier? harder or the same as what I described and what you thought it would be like? Harder. Harder? It's harder? Yep. Oh, I thought I was quite dramatic with my description. No. So you think it's harder than my description? Yeah. Oh, well you've done well then. It is hard. This is a hard challenge, especially carrying a especially carrying a 45 pound, but have I mentioned this is 45 pounds? Now I will say, I knew from the outset that if she ever indicated to me that she was suffering from dehydration, she was showing the symptoms of exhaustion or any other more serious indicators other than just tiredness, such as dizziness, headaches, etc., then I would force her to stop and I'd walk her back to the road for Tracy to collect us both. But she never said that. I was constantly checking. She told me how she was feeling and I regularly asked her. I ensured she kept drinking her water constantly to the point that she just held the straw in her mouth and swigged from it regularly. But she wanted to keep going. We kept to her pace, stopped to rest when she needed it and we powered on. Do you know what? I'm really proud of you that you chose not to quit. I didn't really have a choice. Well, you kind of did. You was there, the car was there, mum was there. Why didn't you get in it? Right, we need to get to Penny Ghent, so... It's not getting any closer. It is. I assured her that Penny Ghent will be getting closer the more we walk. She reckons it's getting further away. You can see it here, look, I'll show you. So, that's Penny Ghent there. Oh, hang on, there. Oh, gosh. Legs, my legs really hurt. Sit rep. Scarlet, I'm gonna die. Scarlet's gonna die. But yeah, we're getting late in the day. What Pacers, way? not quite as route marchy as it was at the beginning. Hang on, we're up here. We're still moving. How do you feel? I'm going to die. She's had enough. She's done. And we've got the biggest peak to go yet. This bag isn't getting any lighter. There's not a lot more to say other than the we're scenery. We're going to die. Other than we're going to die and the scenery is very pretty. But we're doing well. Oh. We're still moving. Oh, it's sit down time. And we're sitting down. We're having a quick... Do you want some wine gums? No. I'm going to have some wine gums. It might look like I'm struggling. I have hurt my toe. She's gone and got herself a massive blister and it's impeding her speed. We've got 5k left to go of this endurance event. Time, we're not talking about time because time has slipped away from us. <sighs> it's been a good day so far. I've got, I've... Hey, what's wrong? Oh, I thought there was something wrong. You're being dramatic. Hands on hips aren't dramatic, no? Okay, all right. Let's keep going, come on. R golden rule, we don't stop on a hill. Come on, this bag isn't getting any lighter. Let's keep moving. My toe is not getting any better. No. No, I can imagine. And we're here. Penny Ghent. Oh, my toe. This is the footpath. This is the slow, hang on, where is it? 
There's someone there. Slow, long climb. Let's get it done. Come on, we've got less than 5K. You've said that, 5K. Yeah, there? we've got, we've got, we're at 20 miles. Come on, we've got four miles. That's more than 5K. That's more than 5K. <laughs> I got it wrong. We've got less than five miles. You told me 5K like five miles ago. Um, well, we've got, what I meant was, we've got less than 5K to get to the top. And then once we're at the top, it's, it's all downhill, baby. It's all downhill. Which is your favorite part? The horror show that is the descent of Penny Ghent is nightmare fuel. I want to sit on my backside and look like a 90 year old man coming down his staircase after a hip replacement. That's how I want to get down off of Penny Ghent because it's so He's not like a skilled ninja what like me. Doing that. So I attempt to go with the flow, but so I'm going to attempt to uh, get down it with this 45 pound Bergen on my back. Because it's not as skilled as me. Considering how hard it was to get down Ingleborough, let's I do this. I went down Ingleborough with no hands. Say that again. I went down Ingleborough with no hands. Yeah, because you had to help me carry my bag, didn't you? I had the camera, the sticks, helping you. Yeah. Picking up everything you've dropped. Yeah. <laughs> All my snacks were falling out the side of my bag. Do you want a bourbon? We are now walking along eating bourbons <laughs> in, the, in the evening sun. So the time now is, what's the time? With a mouthful of bourbons, six o'clock. We've been going for 11 and a, nearly 12 hours, 11 and a half hours, just over. When you check the website, when you Google Yorkshire Three Peaks, this is the time that is given as an estimate, 12 hours. This is a tough gig. I've mentioned my backpack weighs 45 pounds. Oh my gosh. She is dying a slow death at the moment. Everything that can go wrong on a really, really hard challenge is going wrong, with the exception of her hydration. She's probably drunk more water than I have. She's been brilliant. I'll restore. You do. Whatever goes wrong, just make sure you keep drinking. I want to stop. When we got halfway, I thought, seeing her mum, sitting and having lunch with her sister and me, she'd have, uh, she'd have called it then, but she didn't. She didn't. She had a bit of a wobble after we restarted and started back onto the trowels up to Penny Ghent. But other than that wobble, She's powered through, right trooper. I'm so impressed. What's wrong? I just want to wait. Wait for what? Just... All right, let's get up to this corner. Look, we'll stop at this corner. Look at that view though, look. There's the, there's the peak, just beyond that ridge. And then that's pretty much over there is where we've been. Look how steep that was. Yeah, instead of doing this. How'd they get this up there? God knows. It's right perched on the edge of the cliff. If that goes off, that's rolling. That's rolling for miles. I'm at the top. Uh, no, he's talking right now. Oh, he's probably blabbering on about something. Come on. Oh, he's waving at me. I'm at the top, Ooh. guys. Done. No more climbing. No more climbing today. Come on, keep moving. Come on. You're doing well. Just one foot in front of the other. That's it. My legs hurt. My blisters hurt. So I don't even know how you can get blisters on your pinky toes. Come on, we're going to get to the top in 12 hours. Just come to me. Just walk to me. Don't look around. Just look at me and walk to me. Or look at your feet so you don't trip. Don't stop until you reach my step. Keep going. You killed it. Give me five. Let's go. Look, can you see it? Can you see it? Please what? You don't like steps. I don't like descents. So now we've done with the climbing, which I'll take all day long over what we're about to have to do. There's a structure you can sit on. There's actual benches. We're at the top. Hey. Ugh. Is there a bench here? Yeah. All right, sit down. We'll have a minute here. And then we've got to gather ourselves for the ordeal. It's about to happen. Look guys, look. We're here, 6.40. Three minutes shy. We started at 6.43 this morning, 
12 hours to get to the top of peak three. So we just need to climb down now. Fantastic. Do you want to come get a selfie or do you want to stay there? All right. Say that again. Where do we even go? <laughs> like, oh, there's a drop, you. drop, okay. drop. <laughs> Guys, welcome. Well, where even is the path gone? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go down. I'll show you, I'll show you where we're going. Right, I'm going to take my bag off of this. Oh, right. my toe. Just whatever you do, right, look, this is the path. Come here. Oh, so this we, is a bum shuffler. We've got, yeah, it is. We've got to go down there, oh. nice and easy. And then round there. Yeah, no, down there. Yeah, and then around. And then see down there? Yeah, around. And then up there. Just gonna wait a bit. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's no rush with this. Doesn't help that the rocks are not sturdy. <sighs> On to our bottoms we go. <laughs> Careful. I feel like I'm in a movie. Oh, it feels good to sit down. <laughs> oh. You can see why I don't like it, can't you? I think it's quite fun. All right, come on then, let's keep going. Because we're losing the light. Take your time, no rush. Are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Difficult. So which way you want to go? This isn't as bad as he was making out, to be honest. I think Ingleboro was worse. Because here, you have some step kind of things. I've got tents free. I've put the GoPro in the clips of my bag. And it is 7.08. We're down. Walk. Oh yeah, I don't really count this as down just yet. Oh, we're not. No. Okay. This is. Yeah, we're still we're still going down, but compared to what we were walking down, I consider this down. Oh, my hip clicked. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. We are done. Yorkshire done, three peaks. Done. Diddly done. Done. Ticked. We're just walking on the road. Back into oh, apparently the we're village. At 35k. Oh wait. Oh, apparently <laughs> that we're, was two hours ago. We've just ticked over 24 miles, which is we're about 400 meters from. The right, the battery is about to die, so I'm going to end the video now. That's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching, Scarlett. Anything? The battery was then definitely dead. We were only a few meters from the finish point, the car park where Tracy and the car were waiting for us and the official end of this challenge. I just want to say for the sake of this video, because I know Scarlett is watching this video, Scarlett absolutely smashed it. Today is the day after yesterday's challenge and Scarlett is in school walking like John Wayne, but overall feeling okay. That was a testament to her listening to me, staying hydrated and eating enough, otherwise today would have been a very, very different story. I feel okay, absolutely no shoulder pain whatsoever. I've got zero shoulder pain. That really, really goes to show how bloody good this backpack is that I've bought. It cost enough, but it was worth every penny. This backpack that I've bought is worth its weight in gold. If you're into backpacks, I can't believe that's a sentence I actually just said, or would even like to see what I was carrying, then please go and watch me pack my bag for training and for this challenge. I'll leave the link in the description. 24 miles over 2,000 meters of climbing while carrying a 45 pound Bergen is a really, really hard challenge. I had to think about that. I had to just process how far that was, even as I said it. I just wanna say thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, and if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe and leave me a comment. If you didn't like this video, well, I suppose thank you for watching this far. I hopefully will see you in next week's video.